We're traveling to Nepal again because we've added Nepal to our 10 facts episode series. This is a country that a lot of you have been requesting for us to do. And Nepal is an absolutely beautiful country yet often overlooked due to its internal struggles as a nation. Nevertheless, we're looking at 10 surprising and interesting facts about Nepal. Welcome to another FTD facts episode. My name is Leroy Kenton. And now if you love Nepal, give this video a big thumbs up. And before I jump into the facts, I got a question for you guys. Where are some places that you would love to visit. For me, honestly, I'd love to visit Mount Everest one day, maybe try to climb it. I'm kind of scared. I'll be talking about Mount Everest actually coming up in this episode, so be sure to watch from 10 all the way to number one. Okay, so starting off, the capital of Nepal, Kathmandu, was once a lake. Now, Nepalese mythology says that Manjushri flew to Kathmandu and seeing the huge lake, he actually cut the Chobhama's crest in half with his sword and it drained the waters in order to allow civilization to develop in the fertile valley. But outside of mythology, there is scientific evidence that supports this, but in a scientific way. Scientists say that there is ample geological evidence to show that Kathmandu Valley was once a lake. But in contrast to mythology, geologists think that the lake was drained over a period of time, not just all at once. Over a period of 15,000 years to be exact. Now see this, the flag of Nepal. Hall, like this is the only flag in the world of its kind, right? So it's the only flag that's not a rectangle or square. It's actually made up of just two triangles. Nepal is also the oldest country in South Asia. It was founded in 1768 and Nepal doesn't have any Independence Day or anything because it's never actually been conquered. The original founding date of Nepal was September 25th, 1768. But fast forward to 1923, Britain actually declared Nepal's independence. This is because the country was ruled by the Rana family which supported the British Prime Minister. Very interesting that the British would do that. Now I want to look into the religion of Nepal. Hinduism is actually the most prominent religion in the land of Buddha. Although the Nepali village named Lumbini is the birthplace of Siddhartha Gautama and the Buddhist foundation. Today though the beliefs and practices of Hinduism have a major impact in Nepal society. Up until the year 2006, Nepal was the only state in the world with Hinduism as the official religion. According to the World Fact Book, a survey done in 2011 showed 81.3% of Nepalese were Hindu, 9% were Buddhist, 4.4% were Muslim, 3% were Kiritis, 1.4% were Christian, and 0.1% were Sikhs, also 0.1% were Jains, and 0.7% follow other religions or no religion at all. Another fact about Nepal is that it has a population of over 28.8 million people and its population is equivalent to 0.37% of the total world population. Nepal ranks number 49 in the list of countries by population and the total land area is 143,350 square kilometers which works out to be 55,348 square miles. And finally the population density of Nepal is 200 people per square kilometers that is 517 people per square mile. Now this next fact involves their military. The Nepalese Armed Forces ranks 120th and it consists of the Nepalese Army, the Nepalese Air Force, and the Nepalese Armed Police Force. Nepal isn't split up into typical Army, Air Force, and Navy divisions. Rather, their land service army makes up the majority of their military and then the smaller Army Air Services supports the land forces. So that's how it kind of works there. Another interesting fact about Nepal is that the cinema is pretty new in the country with the first Nepalese movie being released in the year 1964. The language of the films are Nepali, Mathili, as well as Bajpuri. The terms Nellywood and Kaliwood are also used for the film industry. Nellywood of course is Nepal and Hollywood mixed together. And then since Kathmandu is the home of Nepali cinema, that's where the K comes from and then you combine that with Hollywood and then you get Kaliwood. When it comes to Nepal's national debt, it is a total of 5.8 billion dollars according to the latest number. Numbers, and that makes the debt per citizen $199. Now Nepal is one of the few countries in the world that has enough room to borrow more 
more money to finance development works as well as achieve higher economic growth rates. The problem however currently facing the country is not a shortage of financial resources. The country deals with other issues which I'll probably save for another episode. Now only two more facts left. Like We've all heard of Mount Everest right? That's the highest mountain on earth above sea level and the mountain is located in the Himalayas. Mount Everest is located in Nepal as well as also located in China and it has an elevation of 8,848 meters or 29,029 feet. With its impressive size it's also prone to natural disasters making it one of the hardest mountains to climb although it has been done before. Back in April of 2014 there was an avalanche that ended the climbing season for that year. One year later there was another earthquake and that triggered a massive avalanche over the base camp. Now there were a lot of fears that this would push away climbers and tourists and the government they actually waived climbing fees and announced improved climbing management in hopes to reassure visitors and say okay well you know still climb Mount Everest don't leave. But yeah that's just one thing you got to worry about when you go to Mount Everest and that's probably one reason why I haven't visited Mount Everest yet. Now the final fact is let's look at the Gurkhas. So these are the soldiers distinguishing themselves by being fierce fighters and serving in special units of the armed forces of the United Kingdom as well as India. But they originate from Nepal. Now after meeting twice with the British East Indian Company, unleashing the Anglo-Gurkha War from 1814 to 1816 and then the Gurkha Rebellion and defeating the Makwanpur in 1816, the British were really impressed with their skills. So they were recruited with the permission of the Prime Minister at that time and they served as mercenaries that were organized in regiments within the army of the British East India Company. The Gurkhas are also known for their weapon, the Kurkuri. It's this unique looking short sword and this was used in the Anglo-Nepalese War as well as the First and Second World Wars. These guys are absolutely no joke when it comes to war so you do not want to mess with the Gurkhas. Alright guys so that was a brief look into the country of Nepal. Leave your thoughts and comments about anything that I shared in this video down below in the comment section and let me know if you enjoyed this episode if you want to see more facts about Nepal. Now before you guys head out of here here's another related video that you would love to check out trust me just tap the annotation right here it'll take you to it. My social media links are also below in the video description section so you can follow me over there shoot me a message I always love chit chatting with you guys over on Instagram and all of that and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join the FTD Facts family and you'll be notified of our future episodes. Okay guys I can't wait to see you in the next episode.